Here are six things INTJs secretly fear. Number one, failure to achieve goals. The INTJ's fear of failing to achieve their goals is a quiet storm that brews beneath the surface of their determined exterior. It's a fear that weaves through the intricate tapestry of their ambitions, threading through the carefully crafted plans and aspirations that define them. Like an elusive specter, it hovers in the background, casting a subtle shadow over their every endeavor. In the labyrinth of the INTJ's mind, this fear is not merely about falling short of expectations, it's a visceral concern about the implications of unrealized potential. It's the unease of facing a future where the meticulously plotted trajectory diverges from the envisioned path, leaving behind a sense of unfulfilled purpose. For the INTJ, goals are not just waypoints, they are the stars guiding their journey. The fear of failure is not just a fear of stumbling along the way, but a profound concern about losing sight of those guiding stars. It's the apprehension of waking up one day to find that the constellations they meticulously mapped in their minds have shifted beyond recognition. This fear of unmet goals is a silent force that fuels the INTJ's relentless pursuit of excellence. It propels them forward, driving them to refine strategies, analyze possibilities, and anticipate contingencies. Yet it remains a constant companion, whispering subtle doubts and urging them to stay vigilant against the ever-present specter of unrealized potential. Number 2. Lack of Control the INTJ's fear of a lack of control is an undercurrent that winds through the very fabric of their existence. It's not merely a concern about chaos disrupting the orderly patterns they weave, it's an intimate worry about losing the reins on the chariot of their own destiny. In the intricate dance of life, the INTJ is both a choreographer and the lead, and the fear of losing control is a subtle discord threatening to disrupt the carefully orchestrated performance. This fear is not just a theory theoretical discomfort with unpredictability, it's a visceral response to the idea of being caught in the currents of uncontrollable circumstances. In the INTJ's world, control is not a mere preference, it's a lifeline, a tether to stability in the midst of the unpredictable tempests of life. The fear of a lack of control is a narrative that plays out in the INTJ's mind, a storyline with plot twists that involve navigating through the complex landscape of uncertainties. It's a fear that propels them to meticulously plan each step to analyze and strategize, creating a fortress of foresight against the potential encroachment of chaos. For the INTJ, control is not about dominance over others, but about mastery over their own destiny. It's a nuanced dance with autonomy, a delicate balance between steering the ship and being adrift in the currents of fate. The fear of losing this delicate equilibrium is an ever-present motivator, urging the INTJ to build contingency plans and fortify the walls of their strategic stronghold. Number 3. Rejection or Betrayal the INTJ's fear of rejection or betrayal is an intricate dance between their desire for meaningful connections and an inherent wariness of vulnerability. It's not merely a fear of being dismissed or abandoned, it's a subtle apprehension of the emotional repercussions that come with allowing someone into the inner sanctum of their thoughts and feelings. In the INTJ's world where rationality often takes precedence, the fear of rejection or betrayal is a soft underbelly, a vulnerability carefully guarded behind the fortress walls of logic. It's a fear rooted in the acknowledgement that opening up emotionally comes with the risk of being misunderstood or, even more daunting, intentionally betrayed. This fear is not loud and overt, it's a silent murmur in the background of their relationships, a nuanced thread woven into the tapestry of their interactions. The INTJ may maintain a stoic exterior, but beneath the surface lies the ever-present awareness that emotional investments can yield both profound connections and profound wounds. The fear of rejection is not just a fear of being unwanted, it's a fear of investing emotions and intellect in a connection that might not be reciprocated. The fear of betrayal is not solely a fear of being deceived, it's a worry that the vulnerabilities shared might be weaponized, turning the act of trust into a potential instrument of harm. If you're loving our content, consider becoming a channel member. As a member, you'll have the power to help choose which video topics we cover, receive exclusive badges to 
to showcase your support and enjoy priority in our responses to your comments. Number four, being forced into conformity. The INTJ's fear of being coerced into conformity is a subtle rebellion that echoes in the corridors of their individuality. It's not a mere aversion to following societal norms, it's a nuanced resistance to the idea of surrendering their unique perspectives to the dictates of external expectations. In the INTJ's world, conformity is not just a societal construct, it's a potential threat to the authenticity they hold dear. The fear of being forced into conformity is an unspoken rebellion against the notion of diluting their distinctiveness in the face of prevailing norms. This fear is not a loud protest, it's a quiet revolution in the recesses of their mind where the INTJ cherishes the independence to forge their own path. It's a fear rooted in the awareness that societal expectations may clash with the unconventional nature of their thoughts and aspirations. For the INTJ, conformity is not just a mask to be worn, it's a potential erosion of their very essence of their individuality. The fear of being forced into conformity is a silent guardian, prompting them to protect the authenticity of their ideas, choices, and values. In the face of societal pressures, the INTJ may not openly defy norms, but beneath the surface lies a subtle resistance. It's a fear that guides their decisions, influencing the delicate balance between adapting to external expectations and staying true to the unique contours of their identity. Number 5. Being Emotionally Vulnerable Beneath the analytical exterior of the INTJ lies a subtle unease about emotional vulnerability. It's not merely a discomfort with sentimentality, it's a nuanced fear of exposing the softer, more fragile aspects of their inner world. In the intricate dance of logic and emotions, the INTJ fears the vulnerability that comes with letting emotions surface, like delicate flowers breaking through the cracks in a concrete wall. The fear is not rooted in a denial of emotions, but rather in the recognition that emotional vulnerability opens a portal to a realm where the rational mind might be less in control. It's a concern that unveiling this emotional terrain could expose them to unpredictable currents where the tides of feelings might erode the carefully constructed barriers that safeguard their logical fortresses. For the INTJ, emotional vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but it's a quiet admission that beneath the armor of reason, there exists a landscape of sentiments that can be both powerful and unpredictable. It's a fear that treads softly, influencing how and when emotions are shared, mindful of the delicate equilibrium between the cerebral and the emotional. In relationships, the INTJ might grapple with this fear, cautiously navigating the terrain of emotional openness. It's a dance where they seek connection while guarding against the vulnerability that can come with laying bare the intricacies of their heart. Number 6. Failure to Meet Personal Standards the INTJ's fear of failing to meet their personal standards is a quietly relentless pursuit of self-excellence. It's not just a fear of falling short, it's an intricate struggle against the shadow of their own expectations. In the INTJ's world, personal standards are not merely benchmarks, they are the relentless architects of the internal citadel they strive to construct. This fear is not a distant concern, it's an intimate negotiation with the self. It's the fear that, in the pursuit of greatness, the INTJ might discover gaps between their aspirations and their reality. It's an internal echo, a reminder that the bar is set high and each stride must measure up to the meticulous standards they've woven into the fabric of their identity. For the INTJ, personal standards are not a rigid code but a dynamic force shaping their journey. The fear of failing to meet these standards is not a paralyzing force but a driving motivator, urging them to refine, iterate, and innovate in the relentless quest for self-improvement. In the INTJ's narrative, the fear of falling short of personal standards is not just a battle against external judgment, it's a nuanced struggle with the self. It's an acknowledgement that the pursuit of perfection is not a destination, but a continuous journey where every step is measured against the backdrop of their own ever-evolving standards. These videos will be really helpful for you.